The Simple Sim shows how a very simple wholesale or retail business works. Because it's a high touch simulation, the numbers will be cartoons and you may think they're too high or too low, but don't worry about the numbers. We're using them to demonstrate two foundational pieces of business finance, the income statement and the balance sheet. The game board represents both a company and the financial statements of the company. The balance sheet is on the left, the income statement is on the right. This is going to be your business. You're the owner, the operator, and the decision maker. In business, it helps if you have business acumen, since you're also the shareholder. We're going to put a wooden acumen in the shareholder's equity area. Now you have three to invest in your new business of selling an exciting new product called Royals. This three might be 3,000 or 3 million, it can be dollars or euros or yen, but it's represented by three silver chips. So we take three silver chips and place them in the cash circle in the middle of the board. All chips in the simulation are worth one, different colors represent different financial concepts. Now you're in business. You have cash which sits on the balance sheet. The balance sheet shows what you have and where it came from. And logically, these amounts will balance. Your cash of three comes from your investment in the business, so you have equity of three. So we take three black chips and put them in the capital stock area. The black equity chips are not cash. They are just a reflection of how much of the business you own. The first thing you need is some equipment so that you can introduce royals to your customers. This might be display stands, lighting equipment, furniture, etc. in a retail store. In any case, you spend three on equipment. So we take the three out of cash and take it off the board. You now own equipment. Take three copper chips and put them in the equipment area. Copper chips represent fixed assets. They're assets on the balance sheet, but you can't spend them like cash. And now you have no cash. So you go to the bank and tell them you'd like a loan. They can see that you have invested three, so they're willing to lend you three. You take three silver chips and put them into cash. But this is a loan that you're going to have to repay. We'll show that by putting three red chips on long-term liabilities. Now that you have some cash, you want to buy a large inventory of royals. They cost one each, so take all your cash, move it off the board, and place three blue chips in inventory. Now look at the complete balance sheet in front of you. You have assets, liabilities, and equity. You have as much in assets, equipment, inventory, as you do in liabilities and equity. As long as things are only moving around on the balance sheet portion of the board, you don't make a profit or a loss, and your equity doesn't change. Now you're ready to talk to customers, and you make your first sale. One royal is shipped out. Take it out of inventory and place it in the cost of sales area on the top of the income statement. The customer will pay you two silver for the royal, but the payment won't come due for 30 days. You can record the sale with a gold sales record on the top of the income statement. The cash itself will come onto your balance sheet, but it's not available to you as cash. It's only a receivable that will come due next month. That completes month one, and you make another sale. So a second royal gets shipped out, and the cost of sale is reported on the expenses. You record that sale, and the customer, again, will pay you in 30 days' time. And in month three, the same thing happens. Your month two customer pays, the money comes into cash, you sell your third royal out of inventory, 
you record that sale, but the customer isn't paying yet, you're not going to get the money until next month. Now you're right out of inventory, but you do have a lot of cash. So take one silver from cash and put it off the board to buy another royal for your inventory. After three months, you've got some other expenses. You need to cover your selling, general and administrative costs for the period, rent, utilities and salary for yourself. So we'll take another one out of cash and pay that as an expense. And there's another kind of expense. The equipment you bought is wearing out quickly and it's no longer worth three. Depreciation is not a cash expense. The cash went out when you bought all that equipment. But as it wears out, we track it by reducing its value on the balance sheet. And we take one copper from the equipment value and place it in the depreciation area on the income statement. The game board shows you your financial position. You can use it to build the standard financial statements. The first is the income statement, the right-hand side of the game board. The money from the sales has gone onto the balance sheet, and some of it's been spent, but you have a record of the sales you made. You have sales of six, less direct cost of sales of three, less one in SG&A, less another in depreciation, leaving net income of one. This is your bottom line result. Congratulations. You made a profit in your first quarter of operations. To represent the profit, place one black chip at the bottom of the income statement. Now you can see your profitability, or return on sales. One in profit, from six in sales, or 17%. Profit occurred because more money came onto the balance sheet from sales, six chips came on, then went out onto the income statement the three blue, one silver, and one copper. You're going to retain this profit in the business, so we move the black chip over to retained earnings. And we'll put a black profit record at the bottom of the income statement. Now look at the balance sheet, the left-hand side of the game board. What you have balances against where it came from. You have two in cash, two receivables, one inventory, and two equipment. A total of seven silver, blue, and copper chips. This comes from investing three, borrowing three from the bank, and making a profit of one. A total of seven red and black chips. Pretty good. You started with an investment of three, and you've grown your black chips to four. You've got less cash than when you started, and you owe the bank some money, but you're still ahead. And you can see your return on assets. One in profit from seven in assets, or 14%. Hopefully this exercise in business visualization will help you think through financial issues more clearly in the future. And clearer thinking leads to better decisions.